Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Dini bin Ahmad Rizal. I am form 5 and it has been 5 years in Abidin Academy. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Adam bin Azmi. I'm a form 5 student and I'm and I've been in the school for 5 years. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Akmar Rahim Nur Azman. I am form 5 and this is my second year in Abidin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Arif Iskandar bin Muhammad Nafi. Assalamualaikum. My name is Mazikri bin Sulaiman from Form 5. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Shazlin Dahlia binti Shazun Zamir. I'm from Form 5 and this is my fifth year on this school. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to everyone that is watching. I am Adam bin Rizal Khairi and I am from Form 5 students. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Irshad Zikri bin Zaidin. I'm from Form 5 and it's been for you for me here at Aberdeen Academy My experience at Aberdeen Academy has been a bit interesting but although nothing out of the ordinary I find myself a bit happy even though there's a lot of challenges to face and a lot of troubles that I had to go through For these past five years, it has been a very wonderful experience in Abdi Academy. It's very memorable, and it's a one experience I would truly never forget. It has been an interesting experience for me because I get to learn a lot from my mistakes, and I also learn about how to be an a student where I get to appreciate little things. My favorite memory is uh, during historical drama festival that is held on 2023, where my class have to act for history of Malacca. It was so funny and interesting at the same time. I think my favorite memory in Aberdeen was the Hari Raya celebration. I get to wear my baju melayu, and everybody get to wear their favorite uh, baju melayu and baju kurung, and we get to eat a lot of local dishes that is. Bring, bring that that was brought from from everyone. My favorite memory at Abidin is winning sports day with the Red House in 2022, where I was the captain and led them to victory. In Abidin Academy, my favorite thing is the teachers. All the, uh, these past five years, I met very wonderful teachers. And they're very friendly. They're very knowledgeable, and they always have given me some sort of life lesson on the way before they went away. What I like the most is the teachers. The teachers are so friendly, and they taught me very well on the subject. One thing that I like most about Abidin Academy is the welcoming nature of the teachers. The teachers are all very open arms, and they will help me get through. My studies and also help me deal with emotional. Help me ease my mind. I think Abidin Academy guided me very well on my academy path because they provided speeches about diploma metrics and. Telling what's the difference between each and everything, uh, each and every way, after our SPM. Abidin has truly guided me on my academic life path, especially when they have given me exposure on where to go. For example, like should I go to diploma or should I go to foundation? And uh, without Abidin, I might have uh, in the future I might have been a bit lost on where I should end up. One of the challenges that I've overcome is my fear to talk in front of people. The, te- the schools have done a lot of activities that improve my social skill. The activities are uh, presentation, public speaking, debate, and more. I've had al- I've always had difficulty in making friends with people, so I feel mostly lonely back then. During my past days, but I 
taught myself to be a bit more confident and also be more social with people. There are a lot of challenges I had to overcome in Abidin, especially is to become a great leader. Uh, in Abidin, I was uh, appointed many times as to lead a group and I didn't know how to lead but the teachers and the peers surrounding me has guided me very well on how to become not just an effective leader but a great leader. My last words are, I would like to thank you and I would like to thank all of my teachers and I would like to say may Allah bless you all for every every moment, every seconds that you have thought about us, that you have spent with us by spending your time to sacrifice your time with, with your family and thank you for teaching me and thank you for teaching all of us. Thank you. To all my teachers, I would like to thank you guys and for my juniors, please don't be hard on yourself and be proud of your achievement. My last words is Thank you to all the teachers that have guided me to be a better person and I also wish that my juniors and also the teachers will have the best future ahead of them. And lastly, don't forget to be kind and also smile a bit more so that people will feel at ease with you. So that's all. Bye-bye. Thank you. My last word is uh, thank you for the, for the teachers uh, for being a patient with us and also with me. And for the juniors, thank uh, work hard on uh, work smart, but no hard. Thank you. That's all from me. Uh, thank you so much for the teachers. Uh, I would truly remember you in the past coming days. And to my juniors, never give up and always try for the best. Thank you. I hope that everyone, every students here, take care of their mental and physical health, and please don't be hard on yourself. Don't get overstressed, and I hope that you take seriously especially during your exams it's because of your future lah. i think that's all thank you bye bye for my last word i would like to say thank you to all my teachers because they spend their energies on me they spend my energies for me to prepare for my spm for my future and i will i'm very thankful for them as for my juniors you guys can study hard and study smart and at the end at the last week of SPM, put your mental health aside and just study. This is for your future. Do it properly. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye. To my teachers, I would just like to say thank you for all your hard work and your energy towards me for my SPM or even towards my life. And for my juniors, well, good luck on your future. Study really well. Make sure you balance your sports life and your academic life. Assalamu alaikum.